Hello students, I am Pushkar, Master Teacher in Chemistry at Vedantu and I am discussing J Advanced 2019 problems. This problem is question number 8 and this problem looks like this. In the decrease sequence, 238-92 uranium minus x1, 234-90 thorium, thorium is changing into 234-91 protactinium and then protactinium is changing into Z the mass number is 234 of the Z and then Z is changing into 239 thorium. Where X1, X2, X3, X4s are the particles radiation emitted by the respective isotopes. And based on this, we have to answer some questions. So as you can see in the first option, if you see 238-92 uranium and it is changing into what? It is changing into thorium. So this X1 must be alpha particle. Why? because 238 is changing into 234 and we know that in alpha decay if you write it like a z x so this is going to be a minus 4 and this is going to be z minus 2 x dash plus 4 2 alpha so that's alpha decay only alpha decay can bring about the change in mass so it's very clear that x1 is an alpha decay 234 234 in the next decay if we can see x2 what is x2 so here we can see that 90 is changing into 91. This must be a beta decay because the beta decay is represented like AX is changing into A Z plus 1 X dash plus minus 1 0 electron. As you know that beta decay is beta decay is related to what? The removal of an electron from nucleus. So definitely this X2 must be a beta particle talking about this x3 once again we can see there is no change in mass but 91 is changing into some number and we don't know about this number let's suppose that this number is equals to a and then we can see that in another decay 234 is changing into 30 that means x4 is definitely x4 is definitely what alpha particle and if x4 is def alpha particle then this a must be equal to what a must be equal to 92. So we can identify that X1 has to be alpha particle, X2 has to be beta particle, X3 once again is a beta particle and X4 is once again an alpha particle. Based on this, so let us see what are the available options and how to choose it. X1 will deflect towards negatively charged particles seems to be right option because alpha particles are deflected towards negative plate. X2 is beta negative, absolutely all right, because in this case we have seen that the mass number is not changing, but the atomic number is increasing. X3 is a gamma ray, not possible. We have seen that X3 is also a beta particle. And Xz in an isotope of an uranium, yeah, of course, we have seen that that is 92. So, of course, Z is an isotope of uranium with smaller mass. So, this question is quite an easy question and quite a bonus to you all of you this is the explanation for it stay tuned for next questions thanks for watching